An advanced poll assessment is underway. Good evening, I'm Jiminita Swain. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks for making us a part of your Friday. Parliamentary registration officials have begun conducting an assessment of yesterday's advance poll to iron out any kinks and resolve any challenges experienced in order to ensure Thursday's general election process goes smoothly. The parliamentary commissioner told our Altavis Monics today exactly how that will happen. Over 19,000 persons voted in Thursday's advanced poll, and Parliamentary Commissioner Lovato Duncanson acknowledged the country has a healthy appetite for the democratic process. It speaks volumes to the need for us making the necessary adjustments, continuously uh, liaising with the various agencies that can assist us with those adjustments to ensure that come general election day, if that same appetite is still prevalent that we ensure that the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas have that opportunity to exercise their democratic right in an environment that is as healthy and as safe as it can be. He isn't denying, though, that several adjustments must be made after the challenges experienced at the advanced poll. The Parliamentary Registration Department is, right now, assessing those obstacles. One particular point, though, is that many voters participate in the process early in the morning with shorter lines during the afternoon. As it relates to the social distancing, uh, we would have engaged some assistance from COVID ambassadors, at, at, but we have come to the point where we appreciate that the amount of persons who presented themselves certainly proved yesterday to speak for itself. And what we did around midday was we were able to make contact with the Defense Force, and the Defense Force was able to dispatch personnel to assist to that end. We are scheduled for this upcoming Monday to meet with stakeholders. Uh, this would be the Police Defense Force uh, as well as other personnel. Uh, so that we can fine-tune our efforts for this upcoming Thursday to ensure that all of the additional bodies are in place and on the ground. Well, security of the ballot boxes is also on the priority list. After episodes of ballot boxes being transported from the advanced poll locations Thursday evening went viral on social media. The Parliamentary Commissioner admitted that several concerns were brought to his department's attention on that matter, and action has been taken to address those issues. Wherever persons within that particular area um, have observations that may be beneficial to the Parliamentary Registration Department in an effort to ensure that the overall process uh, takes place in a manner that we all can reflect back on uh, in a way that we are proud, uh, we will seek to follow every single step to bring out the kind of outcome that would, would have taken into consideration security, taken into consideration the need for the observation of the process, taken into consideration the participation of persons who are there for that purpose. He noted that the Parliamentary Registration Department will be ready to facilitate a smoother voting process across the country on Election Day. The Parliamentary Commissioner also recognized the large amount of residents over 65 years old who voted in the advanced poll, noting that some of their names weren't on the register and measures are being implemented to accommodate them on Election Day. Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.